Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the Prophet 5V, and in today's video we're making a pad called I'm Coming Home. So here we go. It's kind of mystical. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit more involved. So uh, yeah, let's take a listen here, and this is I'm Coming Home. All right, so let's get into this one. And like I said, it's a little bit more involved. So this one's gonna take a little bit more time. So let's just open this panel here for now so I don't forget this here. And behind this, I have a fresh instance and let's go to file new preset just in case. Okay, so first things first, actually before we even get there, there's one thing I did wanna show you on the mod wheel of this one. So it's kind of interesting. So listen to a chord here and we're going to kind of play with our mod wheel. Yeah, so there we have a combination of an LFO and noise modulating the filter that gets that weird kind of sound. So yeah, let's get into it here. So here's the fresh instance, and just because I'm paranoid, we'll go for a new preset once again. So first things first, the oscillator. So the first one here, the volume skin, or not the volume, the frequency is gonna be zero semitone, so we don't really have to change anything. We're not gonna be using a saw, but a square here, and the pulse width is gonna be a little bit different because it kind of gives us that, uh, Kind of gives us that interesting sound there. So our pulse width is going to be 67% exactly. So let's bring this over here to 67. And our first oscillator is 6.48 in the mix. And same for this here. And the second oscillator is going to be 7.36 in the mix. 7.36 in the mix. 7.36. And we're not using any noise because we just, I don't know, I didn't feel like I needed it for this patch. So the second oscillator is going to be down to one octave. I can already see that here. So let's bring this down by one octave. And we're actually using all three of the waveforms. So go ahead and click all of these three on. And we can leave the pulse width alone. So, so far... We kind of have that sound going on so far. Okay, so let's take a look at the filter, kind of the next thing in the chain, right? So our cutoff is going to be at 14 hertz. So let's bring this down. Hertz donut. <laughs> oh, that's a stupid joke. Anyway, 14 hertz, and then our resonance is going to be at one. So again, with this type of filter in this synthesizer, the more resonance that we add, the more bass that we lose. And that can be sometimes a good thing, right? If you want a little bit more tonality and kind of just clear up the low end just a bit, that's something to think about here. So resonance is going to be one, and then the envelope amount, right? So how much is this going to be? How much is the envelope going to be modulating the filter? 5.32. So where are we? 5.32. Okay. Now, since it's kind of a pad, right? We want a little bit of attack. We want a little fade in with the amplifier and with the filter. So our attack is going to be 40 milliseconds here. Okay. 40. There we go. And then our decay, 2.530. 2.530. Sustain is all the way up, and then a release is going to be 2.2. And that's just for the filter here. Now we got to work on the actual amplifier. And this attack, keep in mind here, is going to be a little bit longer. So the filter is going to open up first before even the full volume of the amplifier can actually get in here, right? So this attack takes a little bit longer. So here we're at 357 milliseconds. So let's bring this up to 357. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly exact, but, you know, just kind of in that ballpark something like that. And then our decay is going to be 12.2. And then our release is pretty long as well at 996. So almost a second. Okay, so we're kind of getting there. 
It almost has a little bit of that organ sound, right? Yeah, we all know that one. Okay, so here's here's where some things get kind of interesting. So here on the LFO, let's uh, turn over. Did we even change this? I don't even think we did. Do we? No, we did. Yes, okay. So this right here is going to be 4.34, and we're going to bring this down to 4.34. That's what I'm saying. So 4.34. So here's the interesting spot, right? So we're in a triangle, and down here on the wheel mod, I deselected it by default where it says frequency and frequency two. So if you're unfamiliar with this area here, we have a source between our LFO and with noise. So this knob kind of just mixes how much of this LFO that we have and how much noise we have in this modulation source. Meaning that we can use these two together or just one or the other to modulate certain things. So I don't want frequency one, I don't want frequency two, but I do want the filter, right? So this is going to be on the filter and this mix is gonna be 67.2 for the uh, LFO. And here we are, 67, there we go. Okay, so now, once we increase our mod wheel, we get that effect, right? So we hear that crumbling, that like crackling sound, and that's kind of a little bit of mixture of that noise, and then we have like that pulsing of our regular LFO there. Okay, so we're pretty close here. I think we did most of the stuff in the front panel, which we do need to change the voice dispersion. So click here and go to three. It's gonna be a poor calibration because, hey, you know, we all can't be rich, right? Okay, so I think we're good here. So now we need to go to our advanced settings and something here for our modulation. We're kind of doing a couple different things. So we have this first LFO, or I guess technically the second LFO. And this is gonna be on a triangle wave and we're subtly modulating the frequency of the first oscillator and modulating the pulse width of the second oscillator and kind of gives us a little interesting sound. So let's go ahead and add that, right? Cause we, ha we hear the little, like a little vibrato going on, right? Nice, but gentle. Like a soft tissue. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, let's go to modulations here, LFO. So let's change this to a triangle because that kind of sounds, I think, a little bit better for vibrato things. And the rate is going to be 3.70. Now, just in general for vibratos, anywhere from like a lower end of like 3.7 hertz to even a little bit in the six hertz range, you can kind of get away with for vibrato. So just a little little tidbit for you to take, take home and chew it. If you, <laughs> take home and chew it if you'd like. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, 3.70, okay. Okay, so we have this triangle here. Now, if I play something, nothing's gonna be actually working because we haven't mapped anything. So our first destination, as we can see here, is oscillator one frequency. So let's click this drop down one and we have to go to the oscillator section. Okay, we're in the oscillators and we want the frequency. So oscillator one frequency, select this here. And we don't really need a big amount here. This is 0 0.004, so just a little bit here. That thing just disappeared on me. Oh my goodness, let's open this bad boy up. That happens sometimes, right? A little drop down thing. Okay, so let's get back here. So we have this guy here. Now let's change 0 0.004. So just a tiny little motion like that. And then... If I turn it off... So yeah, just a tiny little amount like that will actually get you quite a long way. And on the second destination here, we're using the oscillator two pulse width, because remember, down over here on the second oscillator, we're actually using all of these shapes here, including the square. So that's why we're going to modulate the pulse width with the same LFO. So destination two, we're gonna go to our oscillators, and then we're going to go to oscillator two, and then the PW, also known as the pulse width. Now, how much are we going here? One, 0.162. Okay, so 0.162, here we go. 0.162. All right, we're in a pretty decent spot here, and it's kind of nice too because with pads like this, if it already sounds playable before we start getting into effects, it's actually going to be quite nice, right? Once we get some effects on there and kind of soak things up, make it nice and wet. Okay, let's uh, clean our tears off and let's check up the, oh, the effects here. Okay, so we're going chorus reverb delay. And sometimes, you know, I do delay first and then reverb, but sometimes I was feeling a little wacky, a little weird. So we're going to go reverb and then delay because I don't know. I don't know. Okay, anyway, 
Horus. So basically none of these values here are really changed too much except the, uh, the dry wet. So this is gonna be 15.6. Right, thicken that boy up. Okay, so next up, reverb, and this dry wet's gonna be quite substantially high, 47.2. It's kind of excessive, but hey. All right, and judging from this, this is gonna be, so this is kind of interesting, right? So normally pre-delay ride, the time it takes before the reverb actually hits once you hit a key. It's kind of interesting if we put this to the maximum here. So we have that reverb here. And if it turns all the way to the top like this, we get that clarity of the notes that we first hit, and then we hear this swell of reverb that just washes us away into the waves of reverb, right? It almost functions as a delay in a very weird way. So if we double click this back to a default, notes that we hit are kind of a little bit, I guess, washed away, and we turn this all the way back up here. We kind of get that back a little bit here. So that's pretty much, I think, most of the things I changed, right? I don't think I th did anything else other than that. And then now we need to add our delay, so let's turn this bad boy on, go to delay. We're gonna be time sync to one over four, so time sync to one over four, which comes by default, which is nice. And then we're gonna go ping pong because it's one of my favorite sounds. I don't know why, I just love ping pong. It's just, you know, it's one of the good things in life. And our dry wet, do we already do that 25.2? No, we need a little bit more, Let's check that out with our mod wheel as well. See if that's kind of working nicely here. And keep in mind, this thing is super sensitive. So all the way at the bottom, we really don't need too much to have that effect come in. Like 0.20, just a little bit like that. So kind of be careful with that mod wheel. pretty close. Let's go ahead and kind of A-B these just a little bit here. I don't have my model up 0 0.20. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, it's just a little, little tiny things, right? Which we're, I'm familiar with. Pick the other one. Right, pretty freaking close, man. I, I don't know, I probably, I don't think it did anything different, but yeah, here we go. And full mod wheel. And if you wanted to, you can always increase the LFO speed here and kind of almost have like a organy kind of sound, but I'll leave that for you to discover on your own time. Okay, so that was how we make the pad I'm coming home. If you like it, if you don't want to dial everything in by yourself, you can just click the link in the video description below and it can be yours. But uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.